Number 16, the velocity of a particle moving in the xy plane is given by v equals to 6t minus 4t squared in the i direction plus 8 in the j direction with v meters per second and t which is greater than 0 in seconds. Letter A, what is the acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds? Letter B, when, if ever, is the acceleration 0? Letter C, when, if ever, is the velocity 0? Letter D, when, if ever, does the speed equal to 10 meters per second? So we have that the vector velocity is equal to 6t minus 4t squared in the i direction plus 8 in the j direction. And we need the acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds. So the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity in respect with time. And in this case, it is 6 minus 8t in the i direction. So vector acceleration is equal to 6 minus 8. Let me do it again. 6 minus 8t t in the i direction and we need to calculate the acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds which is equal to 6 minus 8 times 3 in the i direction and this is equal to let's see this is equal to minus 18 meet, uh, in the i direction meters per square second don't forget to include the unit so this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want to know if the acceleration is equal to zero and when the acceleration is, is equal to zero. So for the acceleration to be zero, we need that this term over here, this term over here to be zero. So 6 minus 8t is equal to zero. So t is equal to 6 over 8, which is equal to 0 0.75 seconds so this is the answer of letter b so for letter c we want to know when the velocity is zero so we want that the velocity is equal to zero so in order for the velocity to be zero this term should be zero and this term should be zero as well so 6t minus 4t squared should be zero and 8 should be zero and of course 8 is not zero so the answer is never because the velocity is constant in the j direction. So the answer for letter C is never. For letter D, when if ever does the speed equals 10 meters per second? So the speed is equal to the magnitude of the vector velocity, which is equal to the square root of 6t minus 4t squared squared plus 8 squared so we are going to use some math tricks over here so the square root of 6t minus 4t squared squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 right is equal to 10 because it should be 10 meters per second over here so we are squaring both sides Okay, so this is squared, this is squared, so 6t minus 4t squared squared plus 8 squared is equal to 100. So this is 64, we are going to send this to the other side. So 6t minus 4t squared squared is equal to 100 minus 64, which is equal to 36. So 6t minus 4t squared squared is equal to 6 squared. So we can use the square root again. However, this can be can have both signs because this can be equal to 6 or minus 6. Okay, so this could be either minus 6 or plus 6. Minus 6 squared is equal to 6 squared and 6 squared is equal to 6 squared. So we are going to represent this by adding the plus minus sign over here. So sending this to the other side, we have that minus 4t squared plus 6t 
plus minus 6 is equal to 0. So you have to solve this quadratic equation over here. And when you do that, you will, will notice that the plus sign must be chosen or else you only have uh, you, you won't have any real solutions. So just imaginary solutions. So the correct sign is plus sign. And the answer that you're going to find is 2.2 seconds. That's the answer of letter D.